Welcome to Off Campus. Today in this video, we are going to explain about Panasonic KX TES824 system installation and basic programming. Before that, if you are watching this channel first time, please like, share and subscribe. Press the bell button if you need to get the notification while uploading videos on time. Ok, let's start. PBX, PABX, EPABX. What is all this? PBX stands for Private Branch Exchange. PABX stands for Private Automatic Branch Exchange. EPABX stands for Electronic Private Automatic Branch Exchange, which is a private telephone network used within a company or organization. The users of the PBX phone system can communicate internally within their company and externally with the outside world using different communication channels like voice over IP, ISDN or analog. In this video, we are going to explain about Panasonic KX TES824 PABX system installation and basic PT programming. PT programming means using a Panasonic proprietary telephone to program PBX system with phone display and special keys. Here we have model number KX TES824 PBX system and KX T7730 digital phone. Before starting, we need to know the basic structure of TES824 system. In basic model, we have inbuilt 3 CO lines and 8 extension ports also. That we can see here in this picture. This is a hybrid system so we can use both analog and digital phones with this device. We will see how analog phones and digital phones cable termination look like. Analog phones are SLT phones that means single line telephone system. So we need a minimum single pair wire for an analog connection. Meanwhile digital phone system needs minimum two pair wire to execute the connection. For example assume we have 8 CAT6 cables coming from 8 different rooms from a single office and one CO line connection from ISP also that means line providers. Out of these 8 rooms, 2 rooms using digital phones and rest 6 using analog phones. Rooms R1 and R2 going to use digital phones that means 101 extension and 102 extension from the PBX. Other rooms from R3 to R8 going to use analog phones. So here we can terminate the CO line single pair in RJ11 or RJ12 connectors and plug in to CO1 jack in the PBX. CAT6 cables coming from room R1 and R2 can terminate in such a way that blue pair and green pair into RJ11 or RJ12 connectors. If it is RJ11 that is 4 pin connector then you can crimp the cable in order like pin 1 green white, pin 2 blue, pin 3 blue white and pin 4 green respectively. If it is RJ12 then it is a 6 pin connector then you can crimp the cable in the order pin 2 green white, pin 3 blue, pin 4 blue white and pin 5 green respectively. Just free first and sixth pin. Ok. For all analog lanes, single pair only need to terminate. CAT6 cables from rooms R3 to R8 that is extensions from 103 to 108 only use single line to execute the connection. Here. Blue pair we can terminate in RJ11 or RJ12 connectors. In RJ11, pin 2 blue, pin 3 blue white we can use it. If it is in RJ12, then need to terminate like pin 3 blue, pin 4 blue white. Got it. For CO line termination, you can use the same method as analog termination. The other ends of a CAT6 in each rooms can follow. B category punching in keystone jacks in faceplate. 
I hope you people understand cabling and termination. Once you done terminations and everything, then you can start your PBX device for programming part. Now we can program PBX device using main digital phone. Here by default operator phone jack is first extension which is connected from the first port. Before programming we need to see some special key functions when entering programming mode. SP phone. Next. Forward DND. Right arrow. Conference. Left arrow. Auto answer. Select. Auto dial. Store. Hold. End. These are the main keys used for programming. To enter programming mode, press program button, then press star hash 1234 from the key telephone without lifting the handset. 1234 is the default password to enter programming mode. Now your display asking for program number. Here you can press 000 to set up date and time. Now you can set up year, month, date, day, hour and minute. After pressing 000 then press SP phone. Then type the year from 00 to 99. Then press forward DND button to go to next. And select month by using auto answer key. Okay, you can select auto answer key and select the month as well. After that, press forward DND button, then type date. Then again, press forward DND button. Then you can select the day by using auto answer key. Then press forward DND button. You can type hour, then forward DND button and type minute as well. Then forward DND button and select AM or PM by using auto answer key. After that, you have to save the program by using auto dial key. Then you can press hold button and this is the end of your first program to set up date and time. Okay, I hope you learn how to set up date and time. Another important program, CO line connection. Program number is 400. Type program number 400 to enter CO line connection and then press SP phone and select CO line number from CO1 to CO8. You can select the CO line connected or not connected by using auto answer key and store it by using auto dial. If you have connected only one CO line then in program CO1 make it as connect and rest CO from 2 to 7 make it as not connected. Don't forget to store after each program finished. Similarly, you can do the program number 401 to select dial mode. Normally connected CO line, we can make it DTM of dial mode and save it. Rest CO line, you can select call block mode. If you are not using now, press 401, then SP phone, select CO line, then enter 1 for selecting CO1 and change the dialing mode to DTM of and store it. Program number 405, 406, 407 are using for outgoing call enabling and disabling. 404 for daytime, 406 for night and 407 for lunch time. Here we can restrict outgoing call for each extensions with respective of each CO lines. In this diagram you can see CO1 to CO8. We can restrict extensions number from 101 to 108 according to CO number. If you need to block outside call from extension 102 and 103 then need to go to programming mode. After press program number 405 then select the CO in which you need to block outgoing call. After that you can select the extension jack from program and enable 02 and 03 then store it. The same you can repeat for 406 and 407 to make effective in night and lunch time. Similarly, we can set up incoming call restriction by using 408, 
4104 like day night and lunch respectively if you need to allow only 101 extension for incoming call for co1 then go to programming mode after press program number 407 then select the co in which you need to block incoming call after that you can select the extension jack from the program and enable 01 for incoming then store it the same you can repeat for 409 and 410 to make effective in night and lunch time as well delayed ringing is nothing but you can delay the ring pattern for example if you enable incoming call for two extensions that is 101 and 102 then you want to configure like first ring will goes to 101 then if nobody attending the call over there then after 15 second need to ring in 102 in this case you can go to programming mode after press program number 411 then select the co in which you need to delay the incoming call in this case you can select the extension 102 then select seconds to 15 and store it the same you can repeat for 412 and 413 to make effective in night and lunch time